Joey Griggs, new seminarian for the diocese. Yes, I am. Welcome. Thank it's you great. Very much. You've been a parishioner here at the Church of St. Mary for a, quite a long time. No, we're going on probably like five years. Five years? Yeah. Where did you go to church before? So I grew up going to FSP, so that's the extraordinary form. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bishop Slattery set up in the diocese. And I, I attended Mass there until I was probably about. 10 mm -hmm. and then we kind of hopped around parishes we were at uh peter and paul for a little bit mm -hmm. and then we were at the church of the madeline mm -hmm. which is actually where we met father jack yeah um and then we actually just ended up following father jack here mm -hmm. um, to saint mary's so so you mentioned the fssps um specifically precious blood parish yeah uh, out west of town mm -hmm. um and the extraordinary form is a beautiful mm -hmm. expression of uh latin liturgy uh what led you to diocesan priesthood mm -hmm. and maybe not the yeah. FSSPs. So growing up, like I'm so thankful that my parents actually made us attend that that style of the mass because it really gives you like an appreciation for really the reverence that needs to be observed during the mass, um, and really kind of just going through Catholic school. Um, I went to Peter and Paul till eighth grade, and then I ended up going through and graduating from Bishop Kelly. Mm -hmm. Um, and just having kind of those diocesan priests um, along in my path of discernment has been like extremely beneficial and uh, just extremely helpful towards my formation and discernment, especially as I enter into this more formal period of discernment heading towards seminary. So it sounds like the notion or the idea that you want to become a priest has been something that's been growing in you mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, some guys say that they have this mountaintop moment where, oh my gosh, this is what I need to do. They realize that. Mm -hmm. You have had a, a lifelong mm -hmm. uh, encouragement from God? Tell yeah. me Yeah, so I, I can't really say there's been like a defining moment. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's been kind of just this persistent whisper. Mm -hmm. um, since I was probably in like second grade, so seven or eight, um, where it's kind of been like, hmm, priests are pretty cool. Like, celebrate the sacraments, get to bring a lot of people to heaven, sounds like a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then it started getting a lot more serious in high school as I started going on retreats and started leading retreats. Um, and it, it just been growing more in my mind and it was definitely more persistent throughout high school. Um, and that's definitely when I started developing more relationships with priests. Um, going throughout the, the application process, I mean, you really find out how many priests you know. Yeah. So it was a really fun, fun uh, experience just thinking about, wow, I actually know a lot of priests. So Walk me through that application process. How do you go from, mm -hmm. hmm, I think I might want to get this a shot, yeah. to now you're accepted to seminary? So uh, it goes back to high school. I mean, it was on my mind. I was like, I'm, I, I know you can go out of high school, so I think I should look into this more deeply. So I, I ended up getting in contact with Father Pratt, mm -hmm. our, our vocations director. Um, and we talked over the course of a year. Um, and really kind of just throughout my senior year, we talked. And we, we try to meet frequently, like once a month, maybe twice a month. Mm -hmm. um, and really just kind of keep it on my mind. Really just see, diagnose where I was in my discernment. And uh, at the end of my senior year, we came to that... That crossroads of are we going to send you out of seminary? Are we going to are, are we going to send you straight out of high school? Or are we going to send you uh, wait till you go to college mm -hmm. for a little bit? So we ended up deciding that it'd be best if I went to college. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up going to Pittsburgh State mm -hmm. uh, in Kansas, um, which was really good. Uh, I was only there a semester, which is kind of good, just where COVID worked out and like everybody was home anyway. So. Mm -hmm. um, one semester there, made a lot of good friends, um, definitely grew spiritually, um, started consistently praying Liturgy of the Hours, and, and really just going to daily Mass, daily adoration, um, and really kind of just developing that personal relationship with Christ that like maybe wasn't as prevalent during high school. Okay. Well, you mentioned earlier that um, being a priest, offering the sacraments, uh, bringing people towards heaven are some things that attracted you mm -hmm. to the priesthood. What else is there? Um, that you yeah. see in, a, in priests that you would look up to. Perhaps. So I think it's really like you have priests like Father Jack who are just extremely hospitable. Mm -hmm. I mean, even with like every wedding, funeral, where there may be some non-Catholic presence, he always does his best to kind of clarify why we do things. Mm -hmm. um, so there's really no confusion. Um, but also, I just really love that the priest is he's in persona of Christi, so he's standing in the person of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's such a beautiful image because when you think of Christ, he's... He's 
his mercy is un, unbounded and his love is unending. Um, so I really think that the priest and us as as lay people is, is really important for us to kind of set that image in our mind that like it's Father Jack, but it's also Father Jack standing the person of Christ. Right. Um, so I think that was an extremely helpful thing for me. It's like an extremely beautiful image. Um, but also just the fact that the priest is willing to meet you wherever you are. Um, like no matter how far or how long it's been since you went to confession or you're going through a rough patch. I mean, we all do. Catholic faith is a pretty tough thing. Yeah. It takes a lot of practice and persistency. Um, but I think just the, the willingness of the priest to kind of step into whatever uh, level of life that you're in, whatever stage of life you're in, he's willing to step in and help you take the next step. So I think that's just something that's really pushed me to really focus towards a more formal discernment. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's shift gears for just a second. Fun. What do you do for fun? What do you like movies? Do you like <laughs> books? Um, uh, so I really, uh, so I grew up with, Ten siblings. Yeah. Um, so, uh, never a dull moment. Me and all my brothers are super competitive. Mm. So, we love sports. I grew up pretty much doing everything except soccer. Yeah. I mean, Robert likes kicking me around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But, uh, it, was, it's, it was extremely competitive having ten siblings. Uh, we played basketball, baseball, football, frisbee. Pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. um, so that was that stayed with me, like even till today. I mean, I'm really excited for intramurals at seminary. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I played football and, and baseball in high school um, till my senior year, and I really enjoyed that because it really kind of allows you. I really enjoy lifting weights as well because it, it. I mean, it gives you a chance to improve upon mm -hmm. yourself, and there's there's definitely that reward factor where you, where you can see yourself progressing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really why the competitive level and kind of just the ability to make yourself better um, through hard work is something that I really appreciate through, I mean, with sports and, and athletics. Um, but I also, I love, I love school. Uh, this last semester was really hard just because I wasn't taking any classes, so I had a lot of downtime, which ended up being a, a blessing in disguise, but like, I'm excited to get back to the classroom. Yeah. Um, I really like reading. I don't do it as much as I should, but I do, I do enjoy just sitting back and, and reading the book. Mm -hmm. So, definitely some of my favorite things to do. Great. If parishioners want to get in touch with you or send you a card or something, at seminary, can you give me the uh, address? The address, yes. Okay. Sounds good. And you are going to which school? I'm going to be at Kendrick Glennon in St. Louis, Missouri. Great. We are a big client diocese mm -hmm. up there. So. We have, we're going to have six guys up there. That's so. fantastic. Yeah, it'll be great. That is great. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Joey. Yeah, no really problem. appreciate you.